Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm going to show you guys an easy way to jazz up a piece of furniture by using transfers. Have you guys tried a transfer yet? These things are amazing and they're so easy to use. Now, my first transfer that I did maybe a month ago, I did a huge one. It took up like a three drawer dresser and I bit off more than I could chew. Basically, it took me a really long time to apply it and I should have tried a smaller transfer like the one I'm about to try right now and on a smaller flat piece of furniture. That dresser had drawers where the grooves came out and I managed it and it turned out really, really good. Here, I'll throw up a picture right here of what it looks like. Had some French scroll writing and it, it was beautiful but I probably should have started out my first transfer on a smaller piece of furniture. So right now, I'm gonna apply my second ever transfer and I'm gonna put it on a smaller piece. See that end table behind me? Hi, Biscuit, there's my buddy. No, it's not a treat, it's just a transfer. Um, see that smaller end table uh, behind me? We're gonna be putting this transfer by redesign on that piece of furniture. So come with me. You can see how easy this is to apply. Okay, you guys, we're gonna start to put on our transfer. There's a couple things that you'll need before you begin. Um, most transfers come in a tube like this. Um, you're gonna wanna keep them in the tube until you're ready to apply them to your piece of furniture. Some prepping with your piece of furniture. Do not put a finish on your piece of furniture. That means don't put any wax, don't put any poly or any type of top coat on your piece of furniture. Otherwise, your transfer won't adhere to the surface that you're trying to transfer the transfer on. Glad I got that. Um, so make sure um, your piece of furniture is basically just has either it's been painted or this particular piece that I'm working on. All I did is I sanded this piece and then I took um, a whitewash and I put that on it. So it's really natural looking, but there's no type of um, top coat on this. Okay, so make sure um, your piece of furniture doesn't have any type of finish on it. And from what I've read also, matte paint, chalk paint is the best as well. So that's what I've heard. So we're gonna apply this transfer. I've already done my measurements. This transfer is gonna fit just perfectly from top to bottom on this end table. Um, your transfer will come with a nifty tool like this. Just a, it's really just like a piece of wood that you're gonna need to rub the transfer out onto your piece of furniture. So you'll have that. And then you'll need some tape. I like my frog tape. Um, I don't like frogs. Anybody that knows me, I have just an absolute phobia of frogs but I love my frog tape so we're gonna use that because we're gonna need to keep the transfer down so I'm gonna take it out of the tube and my transfer has backing on it okay kind of looks like wax paper so my transfer comes out looking like this this is what my transfer looks like has some pretty writing rose on it so what I'm gonna do first okay is I'm just gonna get my transfer positioned kind of where I wanna put it. And then I will remove the, I'm gonna call it the wax paper backing. And then I will tape down my transfer and then I'll start to rub it off, okay? My cat just knocked down my little, my little stick. Okay. So from what I can see here, yep, this is gonna work perfectly. All right. It's a little unnerving to get your um, transfer straight. What do they say in woodworking? Measure once, measure twice. So I'm gonna make sure, okay. And I start top to bottom, that's how I work. So I'm gonna take the backing off my transfer Dun, 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 dun. All right, now I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna try and lay it down. <laughs> 
Okay, now before I tape it down, just getting it centered where I want it. Make sure it's straight. And I'm lightly just putting some pressure down with my fingertips. There we go. And then I'm just gonna just tape it on the sides so it stays where it needs to stay as I transfer it over. So I'm gonna look, all the words look straight. I think I wanna move it over just a tad. Tab it, tab it, tab it. So I'm repositioning it just a little bit. This isn't nerve wracking at all to do this on film. <laughs> um, okay, that looks good. All right, we are gonna be ready to rock and roll. All right, so I'm gonna get that down and I'm gonna tape it on the sides and then I'm gonna change my camera angle so you guys can see like an aerial view of what I am doing. This aerial view is gonna work, okay. Here we go. So we're going to take the stick, the little wooden stick, and we're going to start to rub, okay? So all you're doing is you're putting pressure on that transfer. And you're getting it off the clear film and onto your piece of furniture. So you can see I taped my transfer along the sides with my frog tape. And you're gonna get a little bit of a workout here. It does take some time, you need to be patient. Don't rush this process. And I would say, once you start working on a transfer, um, set, enough, set aside enough time to start and finish it completely. So, okay, so I just rubbed that first corner bit right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up this corner Hi guys, I'm gonna lift up this corner right here and make sure it's transferred onto my table. And I'm lifting and I'm lifting. I gotta move my tape a little bit. There it is, do you guys see it? It has transferred to my table, so that's great. So I'm gonna continue. So you can check your work as you move along to transfer it on your piece of furniture. You can keep lifting it up, going, okay, did that get, get on it? Um, when I did my larger piece, that dresser, especially along the dividers of the drawers, I had to keep lifting up and checking to make sure every bit of my transfer was getting applied to my dresser. And I think that's what took me so long with that piece. I think if it was completely flat, it would have been much easier, but I did it, it turned out the piece sold really quickly. And these transfers are not too expensive and they are a great way to jazz up a piece of furniture. It just takes it up a notch. Um, I know now they have colored transfers, which are, they look really pretty. I wanna try that next as a colored transfer. And I've also seen some transfers with some um, metallic gold in them. So I'd like to give that a shot too. I'm always trying different ways to um, take my restoration projects to the next level. And it's fun to try something new. Okay, so it looks like you guys, I just finished the whole top portion. It's a scroll with the words, the love. So I'm gonna lift it up and see if it completely transferred. So I'm gonna take the tape away. And what I do too is I move my tape down as I move it. So I'm gonna move that piece down there. And I'm gonna lift up. And we're gonna see if it completely transferred. And it looks like it did. That is awesome. So the first part of my transfer is on my end table. You can see it right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a, a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna keep calling it my wax paper, even though it's not wax paper, it's like, it's like a clear film. I'm gonna cut the film right here, 
and then I'm gonna start on my next section, okay? Okay, I grabbed my pair of scissors, so now I'm gonna cut that film. That way it just helps remove material that's kind of in my way. So, and now I'm gonna work on my next section and we'll keep, we'll keep working at this. All right, here we go. Okay, I am at the halfway mark. As you can see, this transfer is turning out beautiful. So here's where I'm at now. And you can see it's relatively easy to put a transfer on a piece of furniture. Now, once I'm done here, applying the transfer completely, I'm gonna go over this transfer with my finger wrapped around a clean cloth and I'm just gonna lightly just push the transfer down even further. You're gonna see what I mean by that. Do you see right here on this F? Do you see how it's lifting right there? I'm gonna go over with my finger wrapped in a clean cloth and just smooth that out. Okay, I have my clean cloth, I have my finger wrapped around it and I'm gonna go over on that letter F right here. And I am just going to smooth that out. Just lightly go over it with my finger and just press it down more. See, there we go. And I'm gonna do that along the whole transfer once I'm finished, but I just wanted to show you guys that does happen. Um, it doesn't lay, you know, completely, completely flat and you're just gonna wanna go in there with the rag and take care of it. Okay, you guys, before I forget and before I reveal the transfer, what it looks like on the end table. Biscuit and I are here to kindly remind you, please like this video if you found it informative and please subscribe to my channel. Um, the button will be off to the lower right hand corner on your computer screen or on your iPhone. When you're looking at the video, it's off to the lower right and you need the video like in the full screen mode to see the subscribe button. I've been forgetting to mention that. so. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Biscuit thanks you, I thank you, and we'll see you next time. Okay, here is the final reveal of that transfer. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how this one turned out. Okay, one more thing before I let you guys go. I forgot to talk about sealing your transfer. Now, some people apply clear wax over the transfer, that's fine. Or some people use um, polycrylic. And so I like this as well. This is done in like a clear satin finish. This works as well. So make sure you seal your transfer once you're done putting it on, okay? See you guys.